What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be going through the 2021 Spider-Co Reveal Volume 7 Catalog. Uh, I uh, Somebody posted a link and I clicked into it and I really wanted to go through this but I thought nope let's screen record it let's let everybody go anybody who's watching my channel go through it at the same time uh, so this will be fun i have not seen any of these pages yet i will link spider co knives down in the description and likely a lot of these will have pre-order links that i will also include down in the description if you guys want to check this stuff out i'll try and make it easy on you uh but yeah i there's not much uh, needed more of the intro here so check out my patreon link down in the description as well and please follow me on instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and start off here with the first pl uh, page. Okay, we have uh, Dragonflight. It looks like it says Spiderco is proud to support Pink Heels. Pink Heels provides a global pathway for giving that uh, for giving that drives. Fun Sorry, the text is very very small uh, from where I'm reading it. That drives funding solutions to individuals and. Uh, communities in need by partnering with public safety entities and local businesses. For more information, please visit www.pinkheels.com. Okay, so that's what that's all about. Uh, Dragonfly 2 in S3DB, uh, and DLC, and Satin, uh, and they're pink. i am still yet to handle a Dragonfly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to get... I need to get my hands on a Dragonfly so I can check it out okay uh next page here we have the dragonfly 2 lightweight in warn uh, warn cliffs in k390 guys k390 is amazing i love k390 i've got it on my little uh, ladybug on my keychain that is a beast of a steel um i i can i can absolutely recommend k390 knives um and spider girl always does a great job of their heat treat uh, now, keep in mind, though, it's not stainless. So this has been described many times as CPM M4 on steroids, and that is largely the experience that I'm having with it. But I'm not a professional who's constantly testing edges, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I've had a good experience with it. Dragonfly 2, Delica 4, uh, Warncliffe, that's it. Oh, man, Delica 4, Warncliffe, and K390. What an awesome EDC profile. Man, that's cool. Uh, Endura 4, not big on serrations. But, okay, uh, hopefully they, surely they have non-serrated versions of that. Uh, and Indela, so, okay, that's pretty cool. Moving on here, uh, the Stretch 2 in K390, that looks really nice. I've actually never handled the original model, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on board with the K390 thing. I'd, gosh, I'd love to see some K390 G10 stuff. That would be cool. But, you know, uh, the lightweight stuff is great, too, and it seems to be plenty strong. I just have, you know, just that feeling preference for me. I just like G10. Salt 2 and LC200N uh, and Salt 2 Warncliffe LC200N. All right. LC200N is, of course, very welcome. For anybody who doesn't know, that's the stuff that can't corrode. Um, so, yeah, there you go. If you find yourself constantly having to deal with uh, unwanted corrosion, then LC200N or some of these Spyderco knives that are offered in LC200N might solve some of your problems. I do like the green. <laughs> if I was gonna go with, if I was gonna go with FRN and I had my choice of color, green would be how I would go. All right. Uh, let's see. What is Slip It? Slip It. UK pen knife. Salt. What's the steel? Mm, LC200N, you can see it right there. Can we zoom in? Yeah, whatever. Uh, and then the little native, um, S30V. What is Slip It? Spyderco's remarkable Slip It family of knives combines the advantages of deep carry and easy one hand opening with the broad legal acceptance of the non locking folder. Okay, so this is a, these are non locking versions, so these are slip joints style. So they did a slip joint little native, and the UK pen knife I have not handled yet. Uh, I've also never handled the roadie, but looks like an interesting profile. So there you go. Uh, that's nice that uh, Spyderco is, looks like continuing to cater to our friends in the UK. So that's pretty neat. I'll let you guys pause. You know, I'm, if you're watching this on a TV, it's probably a lot easier to read. 
Um, but uh, yeah. And by the way, the Spyderco catalog, uh, this is easy to find. You know, and I understand some people are like, he's going too slow. I want to rate. I mean, these, this catalog is easy to find. So there's something that I don't go over in enough detail. Um, yeah, this is something that's accessible to everybody. So you can go back and check it out if you want to. Moving on here, the Yojumbo, all black. That's cool. I, I loved the Yojumbo. It's just this hulking, monstrous, aggressive knife, and it's it's cool, you know? I like the Warncliffe. I like the compression lock, um, so that's cool. They've got, got an all-black version of it. Um, Mule Team, eh, whatever. Um, the PM2, Brown and Micarta, I'm sure that'll be gone in one second. Uh, wait, it doesn't say Sprint. The stunning expression of the iconic PM2 uh, pairs CPM crew wear blade with a classic brown micarta handle scales, blah, 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 blah. Reveal the hands. So, what, so is this a... The only thing that's a sprint one is this Vale Phoenix thing, which I'm, believe me, I'm about to talk about because that's super weird. Um, is that not a sprint? Is that a production PM2? Um, okay, well, that's definitely good. Either way... Whatever the deal is with that, uh, that's certainly one that uh, people are going to want to pick up. Nice combo there. Um, sprint Run, Valley Phoenix, Red Sprint Run. I have never even heard of that, but it has the bolt thing. Hold on. Uh, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name. Vale? Vale? I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I'm, I'm probably offending the maker there, but I'm sorry about that. To make fully knife for the showcase or patented ball bearing lock. I'd actually like to see more of that because that's an ambidextrous lock, which is great. Solves an issue for people uh, who are left-handed or who just want to be able to use their or pass their hand between you know their left and right hand and, and use it you know with either hand depending on what they're doing. Um, sprint run featuring hollow ground VG10 full titanium liners. What? Full titanium liners, contoured Reggie 10 scales, right side tip up pocket clip. Okay, all right, that is very strange. Um, but uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Benchmade's <laughs> talking to me while I'm doing the Spider Co reveal. <laughs> I should have turned notifications off. Um, okay, and we've got some coffee mugs. Those are kind of cool. Those are kind of neat. Uh, I like the red and black there. <laughs> I might have to pick some of those up. Some new coins. All right. And uh, that was it. Okay. Short and sweet. Uh, all right. Um, I'm sure there'll be more in 2021 from Spider Co. Probably not going to be um, kicking out all of their fanciest, sparkliest stuff right off the bat. But that was interesting to look at. And I hope that it was at least mildly entertaining. Like I said, if I can provide links for some of that stuff, I will put it right down in the description so you guys can check it out. But that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, I hope you guys found this at least mildly entertaining. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.